when I came now in September, it wasn't my first uh, visit to Jakarta. I had a previous experience with it. Uh, but it's the first time I spent some time in Jakarta. This city is, is a nice city. Uh, I liked about it that uh, it has a lot of people. And I like to see people. I like uh, to see life in a, in a city. Uh, so one of the things I love the most about it is uh, people existing everywhere in the city and how uh, humble and simple uh, most of the people are in this uh, country. Jakarta has been uh, pretty nice. It rained a couple of times, like heavy rain, and uh, my wife and I, we, we love rain, so uh, we enjoyed it so much when, uh, when it did. Uh, though everything here, the garden and the backyard got really uh, soaked with water, but uh, it was lovely uh, and the weather is not really bad uh, many people say it's really hot and humid and whatever but uh, I, I come from Abu Dhabi you know and Abu Dhabi is much hotter than this and in my opinion it's much more humid uh, so I'm loving the weather here as well the traffic is really a problem uh, I've never seen uh, such traffic in any country before uh, in my original country, in my uh, home country, Lebanon, we have traffic, but it is not like Jakarta traffic. Like all traffic is like traffic, and there's Jakarta traffic. It's uh, another level. But if you if you know where to go and which day of the week and what time, I think you can still manage not to get stuck for hours in the traffic. So you need to know uh, where to go and when to go. What I like about Jakarta is they have a system where everything you need is thought of and everything you need is ready and available. It's uh, organized, uh, yet some people might see it as chaotic, but it's really, it's not. It's, it's really organized. There are many apps I, I was using uh, you can do everything you need uh, to live here through mobile phone, you know. Uh, so the ease of life here is what attracted me the most. Uh, the, the, the accessibility of all the services, the speed things get done uh, really impressed me. Before we, we came to Jakarta, we managed to uh, rent a house in uh, Jagakarsa, which is south of uh, Jakarta. And I wanted to stay away from uh, central Jakarta because me as a person, I don't like uh, uh, like crowded cars and the city. I'm, I'm not a city man. I'm more uh, like a quiet neighborhood kind of person. So uh, I told uh, my managers that I want to be in a more secluded area than central Jakarta. Uh, so they chose south Jakarta, Jakarta. And I love the area here. We rented the house. Uh, it's, 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 uh, it's a big house. Uh, and I like big houses, you know. I don't like really small when you can't even breathe. Uh, I had experience uh, with such houses. Uh, furniture, uh, be, yeah, I have a lot of stories about the furniture in this house and uh, a very funny story that actually happened was uh, back uh, where we were in Lebanon before we came here, uh, we got uh, some, furn some of the furniture for the house and uh, my wife freaked out about this. She, she, she wanted to buy everything herself and she got really freaked out when she knew we bought some uh, couches and so uh, she was really upset about it and she was planning to uh, to just give them away or sell them or whatever first we come to the house and when we came to the house and she saw them she was like mm. and then a few days later she loved the things we bought and uh, now I told her I want to take these couches that you don't you didn't want really 
I want to take them to the studio. Now she doesn't accept. She wants them uh, in the in the living room. That interview was actually the first day I got to Jakarta. We we were okay. We went to the interview in Compass TV. Uh, we met Timothy, who is a very uh, interesting and lovely person. We had a chat, me and him, before the interview, and then we went on the interview, and it was light. It wasn't like anything uh, deep and complex. It was just like light questions. And uh, I explained, I talked about uh, the Hijra, the Hijri year, which is the Islamic New Year. Uh, and what it means and uh, so on. And then I, I sang, uh, I think, a couple of songs. I talked to Timothy and uh, the crew, uh, all the crew there. I met them, we talked, we, we had some funny uh, chats outside and uh, we had plans to actually meet outside the TV, but it didn't happen yet because my schedule is pretty uh, tight and hectic. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm surrounded by uh, names that sound alike, and at first it was confusing me, then I got used to it. So I had uh, Hernie, Henry, Hertie, uh, Hani, and Hai. So yeah, it was very confusing for me at first, but I'm getting used to it a bit by bit. And every once in a while we have, most of the shootings we have are in this house. They consider to be a good like location for uh, shooting. So most of the staff meetings and brainstorming meetings and shooting happen uh, in this house. And I love it, you know, I'm more comfortable in my house than any other location to shoot. Good experience, well, every day I have a good experience in this country from uh, meeting new people, uh, going beautiful places. The, the, the day I, I remember the most that I had a blast in was when we went to a mini, what is it called? This mini garden, I think it's called Taman Mini. Taman Mini, that's it, yeah. We went to Taman Mini and we saw all the birds. We went to the bird section, it was beautiful. Uh, we saw uh, the domestic uh, birds and the wild birds, like the eagles and stuff and the hawks. It was really nice. We went to uh, pet shop and we got two little kittens and uh, not, not one, two, we got two, and uh, they live with us now. Their names are Peanut and Hova, uh, boy and a girl. And Nadine loves them, and uh, she started communicating with them, touching them, holding them. She's making a lot of progress, and she's doing great. <laughs>